So we've been able to look through the basic functions of the PDM browser, but there's more to come. Let's talk about libraries and ways to use parts across projects. We've been able to set up our do nothing project along with our radio project and be able to sort parts by their different attributes. Let's take a closer look at the do nothing machine and see what we can find. One of the first things that I can see is we are missing some bolts here that are holding our followers on. So let's work on that. It just so happens that the perfect bolt falls within our radial engine. And we can use that bolt for both applications. Perhaps I can search for it. Here we have a search box and if I enter bolt, you can see that nothing comes up. And the reason is I am searching on my top level location. So I'm searching this for the word bolt here and here, but I'm not searching recursively through my subfolders. So let's check this box to include subfolders. And now my view changes to include not just searching for subfolders, but all of the contents within my subfolders here in my top level view. I'll type in bolt. And I can see all of the bolts within my project. Turns out this head bolt is just about perfect for this project. So perhaps I'll go ahead and open up my do nothing machine. We'll go to insert design. And as you can see, we only have one project, the project that we are currently working on. So when we go to insert parts, the parts will only be insertable from our current project, not from the radial engine. So let's work on getting that bolt set in a way that we can use in all of our projects. Again, going back into our Alibre PDM, to be able to use these parts in multiple projects, we have libraries here. And libraries are the parts that will be available in all projects. So we'll need to start a new library to be able to use it. And I'll call it hardware. So we'll make a hardware library. And now if I run back to my radial project, I can see that I have my head bolt right here. So right click and I can copy, which would make a duplicate bolt, or I can move it. I'll go ahead and move it and select my library. We'll move it into my hardware library. And now when I go into my hardware library, I can see the head bolt. When I go back to my radio project, of course, the head bolt is gone. Interestingly, if I were to go into my do nothing project, we would see nothing within my do nothing project. And that's because we are still searching for a bolt. So I'll delete that from my search bar. And now we have everything restored to us. So if you have unexpected results, make sure that you didn't leave any text in our search box because we can search uh, through a lot of different projects for the same thing quite quickly. All right, we'll go to our hardware here. And now with our head bolt in our hardware library, we should be able to insert it into our do nothing machine. We'll go with insert design and under libraries, I can choose hardware and there's my head bolt. So we'll insert two of these and constrain it as we need to. And just like that, we have our bolts in. So I'll go ahead and save and I'll be sure to check into my safe and we'll say, okay. So those are our parts. I'll go ahead and uncheck include subfolders to get back to my regular view. And that is how we can deal with using parts, the same parts across multiple projects. And that's how we use libraries in the PDM browser. We've got some more topics coming up that I think are even more interesting. See you then.